I think the idea of a dragon being considered this vicious, horrible character, but a child comes in contact. Right away, the child's vulnerability becomes an easy target for the dragon. The dragon could just eat it, you know, or crush it. But the fact that it doesn't says that a, a, a link between the two was established that had to do with vulnerability, had to do with love. And so the child, who doesn't know to, to fear the dragon once the dragon doesn't eat it, develops a bond. And that bond is unthinkable to other people. So I think that makes an interesting story. He's the only person that claimed he'd seen the dragon. Nobody believes him, but they like him. And they like him because he tells these stories about a dragon that nobody believes, but they just like hearing the stories. So that's when the character appealed to me, and so that's what happened. That's the guy I played. It's a pretty big jump from Ain't These Buddy Saints. Very short shooting schedule, very small, compacted film, very personal, very intimate. And then suddenly you had this gigantic framework, you know, a gigantic set. You're down in another country, New Zealand. You've got monstrous cast members. You, you, it, it, the, the, the scope of the thing is just widened and widened. And there's a lot to contend with. Not an easy jump, not an easy jump. I remember Una. Una was easy to work with because there was something about her that made her, her very sympathetic. You could relate to her. And the fact that she's so malleable, that she would come around so quickly. And of course, I guess the, the best way to work with kids is to kid them, kind of catch them off guard, you know, surprise them. Bryce, explosive personality, um, a lot of joy in, in her, you know, that sometimes would just explode. And, she, and it, it was legit. It was just, she's really a very loving, outgoing, smart person. With a kind of a, her personality has a bright light in it. Uh, that's the best way I can explain it. I loved working with her because she's professional. It's always great when you're working with another actor that's professionally minded and where craft is important. That, that's a very attractive thing to work with. She has that. But basically, her joy and enthusiasm are the qualities that stood out the most for me. Very easy to work with. Meacham was a wood carver, and he loved his work. He carved, and he carved really well, and he sold his work. That's why he was a part of the community. But because he was an older person who claimed, who, who had these fantasies other people thought. These fantasies that kept coming up with him, one of them being he had seen this dragon in the forest years and years ago. And of course that was just too outlandish for people to accept. So he was considered kind of eccentric. Not a bad, mean person, but just eccentric and somebody just on the outside of things. From his point of view, he just loved his work, and he believed what he believed, which is he actually saw the dragon. If nobody believed him, that was too bad and fine for them, but it's the way it was. But it wasn't going to change. And when his daughter pleaded with him, Dad, could you stop telling this story? We just know it wasn't true. And he said, but it was. So of course, that paints him as a character who's isolated. He's not an outlaw. He's just isolated because he believes in magic. New Zealand is a, it's a country with a smile on its face. That's how I came away. I came away with that phrase in my head. It's a country with a smile on its face. The people, I would imagine that New Zealand today is the way America was when I was a little kid, where people were bonded together. There was community work and, and there was joy and there was happiness and it's a can-do thing and people were sacrificing together because of the war that was going on. I made it clear that I was really uh, open to the Maori culture. Uh, I wanted to kind of investigate it. 
I wanted to get to know it. They opened up for me. They had a ceremonial experience where they were s celebrating my interest. And that took it even further further in. And, and um, it was such a memorable experience. It'll be part of my overall experience in doing Pete's Dragon was my ability and the chance that I had to engage with it with an Aboriginal culture. Pete's Dragon, when you cut right through it, it really is the, about the intimate story of a father and a daughter and a boy that survived an accident that killed his parents. And he was, went into the woods, went into the forest. And it has a lot of magic, but at its core, it's a very emotional human story.